Whether you do a wide grip push-up or a close grip push-up, you're going to be targeting mostly the pec muscles, the anterior deltoids, the triceps, but when you bring your hands closer together, it actually just means that your triceps are gonna have to work a little bit more. You take away the larger muscle group aspect of it and you hone in on the smaller muscle groups, usually the weaker muscle groups, which is why close grip push-ups are sometimes more difficult to perform. So you're gonna set yourself up into a plank with your hands not shoulder width apart like a traditional push-up, but right underneath. Again, close together, close grip. Your fingertips are pointing straight ahead and you would just wanna establish your high plank position here. Watching that your belly's not hanging out, instead you're pulling the abdominals in, engaging your core. Not so much that you take yourself out of the plank and get the weight away from where you want it, which is to be in the upper body. I like to think of it like I'm just kind of on my tippy toes, putting as much weight into the arms as I can so I can most benefit from the upper body work in this exercise. Elbows are gonna point straight back. You're literally trying to squeeze your arms against your rib cage. You don't need to go any lower than 90 degrees. And then exhale, pull the abdominals in and press the floor away. So again, squeezing the arms in, feeling them tight against your body, abdominals pulling in, head in line with your spine. Exhale, bring it back up. You're focusing on the elbow extension. Your tricep muscle is the muscle that extends the elbow. So you want to get full extension so you most maximize your tricep work. Just be careful if you happen to be hyperextended that you don't push too far into that joint. Just a teeny micro bend is good for range of motion.